Okay, gonna go over this stuff pretty quickly. SPY, we see we had indecision candles and we're now getting what's looking like a shooting star. If we look intraday, you can see that um, pretty much it shot up in the morning then really gave everything back plus some. Uh, you'll see that on the daily. Uh, on the weekly, it still just looks like it might, you know, still a bullish uh, trend. But again, during these times, we will get retracements. So we have to see if we're just in a retracement to go up and we have nothing broken to say that the uptrend is broken as it is. You can see uh, clearly uh, if I draw this line uh, rough and dirty, you can see that the trend is up. So uh, don't try to call a bottom a top. You just want to kind of say, OK, this looks like a retracement came back, didn't give that separation that I liked from here. So you saw how it popped up, retraced back to this level, popped back, but didn't get to where it came back and tested this level it got barely above it and uh, is heading back down so momentum is showing that's a little bit weakness as well so we take it uh you know it is what it is uh daily we can see we have some, kind of that same pattern because uh look at again go to the 15 minute chart you can see it went all the way up shot up and then gave it all the way back down so again you saw the, the bears took control of today and see if they have any follow through tomorrow momentum is showing MACD is showing some bearishness, so we got to be careful with that. Uh, Russell, again, um, so many days up. I'm just looking at this as like a pullback, quite honestly, because you have all these days up. Uh, you got five days up, and then you just, you know, if people were trying to get in, you know, they got you out basically here and fading it back to the downside. So, uh, and last but not least, the diamond. Diamond is pretty much didn't clear. Uh, this level as well so you can see it's just sideways right now needs to hold this level right here this previous pivot point at 170 excuse me 167.20 and we'll see how it goes from there uh, a couple of names that we looked at yesterday uh you know uh ford i would tighten stops up right now uh broke out pretty much if you got it here you definitely got squeezed out if you got it at the break of the high uh, maybe you could hopefully peel some profits and uh, go from there uh, we also look at Home Depot as well. This one's still kind of holding up uh, pretty good, uh, looking at the price action. Johnson Johnson. Uh, Johnson Johnson just looks like a clean pullback right now. Um, just inside a day. Let me see. If, yeah, it might have got you in, tagged you in if you took it on that breakout. So, again, very, very low risk, and we'll go from there. Facebook, same thing shooting back up and then again everything's going to mirror what the indexes are that's why i start with them so there is a method to the madness apple come on come on come on apple's continuing to go down uh, we can see that it definitely had that weakness but again the trend uh on the daily wasn't saying that saying much if you kind of even break it down to like a, an hourly you can see that the trend was pretty much sideways for this entire time and now it tested these lows and rolled back down so uh this is not an environment to get, you know, to say, OK, I'm going to buy the dip per se. Just we kind of want to see where it goes from there. Um, huge wreck handle down almost uh, over three percent on Halliburton. Uh, Chevron uh, pretty much is just giving a pullback. I would look at these energy names and just keep them on the back burner because, again, this is look how many bars we had up. You, this is expected. That's why yesterday I said these things could have been, you know, kind of gone. Uh, let's look at the banking sector. Banking sector is kind of uh, rolling, but again, this still looks good to me. I just want to see if it follows through the downside. But uh, if it breaks above these highs, I think you could get some upward movement. Uh, Bank of America just looks looks sideways. Pretty much, if you took this engulfing pattern, you're probably going to get stopped or roll your stop up a little bit to reduce that risk. Uh, Wells Fargo. Um, Wells Fargo is a buy down here or here for me. So again, I would be peeling profits. And again, the breakout guys are getting a little bit squeezed as well. Uh, Prudential, pretty much getting back to these highs and curving back over. Let's look at Priceline. We haven't looked at that in a while. Kind of not really saying nothing, but you can see that the trend is down. It got had this pop up and now it's just creeping down uh, and not really doing much holding that 50 day. So uh, who else we look at? Uh, let's look at Tesla, see how that did. Um, again, it probably, yeah, uh, this is the action. It pretty much mirrored the action, gapped up and then faded the entire day. Let's look at Solar City, another Elon Musk product, um, pretty much doing the same thing. But again, this is not where I will be looking to get long this stuff. Look how many days it's been up. I mean, it's been, the buy was probably right here and then it's been up, you know, six days in a row. It, just keep these stuff on your watch list and you saw the volume decrease all the way down. So again, um, we'll see what happens uh, tomorrow. 
Uh, again, I want to make sure that you're looking at the bigger picture and SPY uh, is being given a good uh, run up. But again, this just could be a retracement. I don't know how ugly it is until we see what we're going to trade the right side of the chart. So uh, take care.